Hey guys, Lil Canal here, back again with another video. So, thank you so much for 1.5k views on that last video. Um, for not the last one, but the one with this keyboard, the Dyro one. But I've been getting a lot of comments and like questions saying, how do you like use it? How do you change colors? Or how do you switch between modes on Xbox and PS4? So for Xbox, you just plug it in if you have it, but see with the if you have another keyboard that's not bluetooth like i have i have a dk63 from dyra but um it's on when i turn it on i can connect it to anything like my ipad right here or my computer or phone but now with a dk63 the one with the line right here um you have bluetooth so if you have bluetooth then it takes um an extra step to connect it to your ps4 or xbox or even your computer maybe but if you don't have the one with the line or if yours is in bluetooth you can just plug it in and start playing if you have an xbox or a ps4 and these steps um also work with xbox and ps4 like you have to have it plugged in first to a device like a computer or if it just needs it just needs to have power you can even plug a usb type c to an outlet like in a plug or something so that's what you need to do so if you have just needs power for a bluetooth one and then on the back right here there's a little switch that says on and off so you want to flip that to off and see how it still has power but um i can't type anything because it's on Bluetooth mode. See, it's plugged into my computer and I can't type anything. It's only going on the iPad. So once it's in power for the Bluetooth one, you wanna click FN right here, this switch, and then you wanna click R. Now if the R turns pink like this, see how it's blue, now it's pink. And let me just switch the color real quick to this. See how it's uh, um, blue right now? If you click pink, then you can actually start typing on your uh, computer, Xbox, or your PS4, anything that uses a keyboard for a wired connection. But now for Bluetooth, um, now to use Bluetooth, you wanna, you don't even need to have a switch on, you just need to have power to that. But for Bluetooth, you click F and you click this when it's blue. Then you have two, uh, three options, one, two, three. So if you click Z, it can connect to something so let me try connecting to my ipad so let me just go on dock right here or on a thing so see i'm just typing on my ipad and then in order to connect it like i'm gonna forget the device on the my ipad so let me do that real quick so forget the device in order to connect it to a bluetooth device you hold fn and then you hold any letter but i'm gonna do z and then as you can see dyra dk63 you click on the option and it takes a second to pair and then you want to click the pair it's going to send a request and then it'll be connected and you can see i can start typing using this and it works with a phone or anything that uses bluetooth so that's how you switch between modes on your um xbox or other thing like whatever you use but that's how you use that now to use colors or like to change stuff um i'll show you how to do that too so what you're gonna need to do first is you just um click fn and to change your color you click enter so as you can see it has these colors it has full uh colors like mixed that you have uh, let me go back to that option real quick so you have green blue uh, orange pink uh light blue and you have white and i always use this white because it matches with my led lights so that's what i usually have for my um keyboard but to uh, like you can also have other colors too and they also have programs on your computer you can download like a software and then you can also control like you can make your own design patterns and all that and remove one saved one on that. But, um, to go between modes, like, uh, how it, like, flows and everything, you click FN in this one, the cycle. And then right here, it just shows this one. You have this one, 
paper like goes in and out and then you can do a bunch of others and then here you can also have this one where it just switches between the colors like this i have it on blue but see you can change the color if you want to do that and then you also have this one which is the same thing as going that way but reverse and you have another one where you click it and this happens and then you also have this option this option where you click it or not if you click it but it just goes around in a circle and changes colors and then you also have this one and then you have this one where you, if you click a certain key that a key lights up so that's that on how to change the colors on it now for speed like how to change your speed of it or brightness you click fn and then to move the speed you click this arrow key to go fast and see how it's going fast now and to slow down you click the other arrow key and that slows it down and fast and then let me go back to that mode Like that and then to lower your brightness you click this one and to up your brightness you click that one so that's how you use that one and then you're gonna have this one blinking and that does that means it's not paired to anything or it needs to be paired so you click fn that and then z again and then it would work but then for the caps lock i don't know why it does that you have to click it a few times to stop it from doing that but that's how you use your Daira keyboard. Um, it's pretty easy to control, but the, those were the questions I was getting in. I hope this video was helpful. So yeah, uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and goodbye.